How's it going everyone? It's Cody B Pyrotechnics and as you can see we survived the snowmageddon and so I wanted to get you guys a quick video. Well it's not snowing anymore. You can see off in the distance there are some dark clouds. Believe it or not we got another two inches of snow on the way so that cell should be moving through tonight. Before that gets here I wanted to get this video out to you guys of some daytime fireworks. Now we don't have much daylight left but check it out. We've got this three pack of Roman candles by Top Gun Fireworks. I believe this pack right here was 10 bucks. That's what that looks like. Then we got this two pack of Roman candles from Winda Fireworks and it's just called Five Ball Giant Color Parachute. So that should be kind of cool. These parachutes might go way out there. And I have a little surprise for you guys. So we don't do a lot of these big boy girandolas, but check this out. So that thing's gonna spin up. I don't know how this is going to react to the wind. I think it's gonna work sort of like a rocket where the rocket takes an arc into the wind. So if that's the case, I might actually be able to run out into that field and get this after it went off. So we're gonna be lighting that last, but first let's take a look at the Roman candles. All right, so Kate's just getting this pack of Roman candles opened up, and then I think the move is that we're gonna put them over there in the deep snow. Check out some of the scenery too. Looks like a different world out here with all this snow. Usually it's just brown dead grass, so this is a nice change in scenery. But yeah, just getting these opened up, they are huge. Like, check this out, I'll pull one away. And uh, look at this thing. So, Winda brand distributed by Panda Fireworks. Look at how big this Roman candle is. And basically, yeah, we're just gonna walk it over here to the snow. Should be deep enough. And we'll just shove it in like that. <laughs> check it out. All right, so here goes the first one. Remember, there's parachutes, so I might actually have to zoom here. I don't know yet. Oh, look at that. Yeah, they're going way out there into the field. Bye, army guy. Oh, there goes that one. It's kind of tough to see these. Let's see if I can track it. Yeah, the wind is really taking them. I don't know if you can see that. Nice little parachute. I don't even think you can see these, man. <laughs> it's like so far away. Yeah, it's tough to zoom in on them too. Look at that thing. All right, so he's getting the second one loaded up. Uh, this time I'm gonna try to get a little further back, see what we can do. We're gonna try to track these things a little better. Whoa, look at that. That one actually had smoke. Oh, wow. Okay, these don't have parachutes. Yeah, dang, I should have shot this one in wide angle. Look at that, nice blue streak. Purple, wow, it's like a signal flare. Hopefully people don't think we're lost in the Arctic tundra. <laughs> All right, so we're just getting this pack of Roman candles opened up. It looks like we got five parachutes per candle and these are also really large candles. This time I'm gonna really try my best to track them in the air. All right, here goes one of them. I'm gonna try my best here. Whoa. Oh, those are a bit smaller than the last one. Let's see if I can zoom. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay. Little parachute right there. All right, we got another one. Let's see, hopefully you can see that. Oh man, they are really going. There's one, okay. Yeah, there's only five per Roman candle. All right, here goes another one. Did you light them both? No. Okay. Yeah, that fuse must be really long. That one, oh, there is a parachute over there. Man, these are tough to follow. Yep, there's another one right there. I don't know if there's a way to zoom in on YouTube, man, but they're gonna have to do that to see these things. I don't know, maybe I can do something in editing to help, but yeah, look at that thing falling. Let's see if I can catch that way over there. <laughs> look at that thing go, man. Other side of the field. Okay, this one, I'm gonna stay in zoom the whole time and we're just really gonna have to track these things. Okay, that one didn't go too high. That one's pretty easy. If 
following it there in the middle of the screen. Got another one. Yep, look at that one. That one I lost. Okay, where is that one? It's right up there. There it is. Yep. Okay, I'm following this one for now. Let's see, there's another one. That one's coming down really fast. And that one, oh, there it is. I don't know if you can see that. Yep, there it is, right there in the center of the frame. Yeah, I like that. Let me get a shot of this thing. Background. Nice. Okay, go for it. All right, here goes the moment you've all been waiting for. This is the massive Girondola. Hopefully it works. Please work. Whoa! I didn't know there was going to be a willow on the end. Look at that. Smoke almost looks yellow. Dude, how high do you think that went? Holy cow. That was like half a mile into the air. Awesome. <laughs> so there's this little red thing out there in the middle of the field. I'm not using my mic right now, so the audio probably sounds different. But we see this little red thing. And I think that might be the Girondola. So I'm going to run out there and go get it, see if we can recover the thing. <laughs> How deep is it? I don't know. Send it. Cody looks like a Sasquatch running around out there. He's found something. Must be little pieces of it. Well, that went a long ways. Shot it from way over there. He yelled at me to keep it rolling. I am! I'm talking to the viewers! Look at this guy. I can hear him panting from here. It's time to lay off the gas station pizza. <laughs> I didn't think it was going to break apart like that, but it did. You were right. Um, it, okay, it's not that far away. It's the having to get out of the snow. You should get some snowshoes. Each time. Yeah, we got it. All right, so I got a bunch of comments about lighting a rocket into the snow. So that's what we're going to do. And everything here is in a controlled environment. So literally nobody could possibly get hurt. Nothing could go wrong. Here we go. Yep. Okay, here goes a rocket in the snow. Whoa! Woo! My ears are ringing a little bit. Check that out. Dude, go put your foot in there. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> that loosened it up a bit. Yeah, it did. Holy. All right, so I also got a lot of comments about putting firecrackers in the snow and making a progressively larger hole out of the firecrackers. So we have three of them out here today. Let's see how big of a hole we can make. Here goes the first one. All right, check it out. Wow, that cleared out quite a bit. Look, it's a little gopher hole. <laughs> now let's try the second one. All right, we have firecracker number two in there. Wow, this does kind of work. All right, we got the third and final firecracker in there. Nice. I did not think this was gonna work as well as it did. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you next time. Did you have fun today, kid? I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a little chilly out here. Sun's going down. We'll see you guys later.